Hi, this is Kevin Trainer. Welcome to my lecture on uh, the introduction to the the project and the case uh, scenarios. So this is the week that we roll out the project uh, work, and um, this is the lecture where I I give you a kind of the broad view, All right? So. Uh, uh, Let's, uh, let's just take a look at where we are. We're in week five, right? Um, and um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to begin to work with these uh, cases. And um, uh, one case everybody's going to work with, it's our practice uh, case. Uh, it's called the iSchool Web Store Practice Case, okay? And it has a bunch of uh, facts in it about a fictitious um, uh, business opportunity. And it's, it's kind of written in terms uh, of uh, this being a business opportunity for our iSchool and um, uh, the opportunity is that uh, we would like to create a website on which we can sell branded uh, merchandise, high school t-shirts and sweatshirts and mugs and all that kind of stuff. Now this is uh, pure fiction. I mean, I dreamed this up. Um, actually came up with the idea for this case at another iSchool um, and they're not doing it yet either. So uh, I still think it's a, it's a nice idea. But uh, so when we're working as a systems analyst, okay, we, um, we typically get involved with uh, project stakeholders in order to solve some problem or to capitalize on some opportunity. This is an opportunity. Okay, so this is a group of people who um, don't currently have a web store. Um, for the most part, they don't sell t-shirts, um, although there is a history of some t-shirt selling. And... Um, and so the opportunity is to work with them to uh, develop a web store application. So uh, the outline for the case uh, is the same outline that I use for all the cases. There's an introduction in which I tell you kind of what I just said, but you should read it yourself. Um, problem or opportunity background. Uh, Again, I think that this is more of an opportunity than a problem, but it's got a lot of facts. Um, uh, here's some more facts down here on page two. Uh, one of the important things that we're going to be trying to hone in on early in our work with these, uh, these uh, uh, cases is trying to trying to get a grip on what the scope of the project is going to be it's always one of the biggest issues um that confronts the systems analyst so here we've got some some uh text related to scope and then we have uh, uh some helps here are some known functional uh, requirements okay so these are features that the system would have that relates to needs that um, are being expressed by the stakeholders. And here are some non, uh, some known non-functional uh, requirements. So this particular case, iSchool Web Store, we're going to track all the way through the course. And we're going to use it to practice everything we do. Okay, the first thing that we're going to uh, practice on is a project plan. 
Now the project plan is the first of three parts of our um, uh, deliverables for the project that you're going to do. And so um, this is the practice for you work on your real uh, project plan. Okay. Um, now let's back up a bit and talk about where this is going to go. So using this iSchool Web Store a practice case this scenario description you're going to do your skills practice for the current week okay and that is to create a project plan outline okay uh, so what's that well that is an outline from which one could write a project plan we're not gonna write the whole project plan when we're practicing because we don't want to uh we want to we don't want to overdo the practicing okay but we want to we want to go through all the thought that you need to for a project plan and then we're going to compare notes about what we did in in getting um put it uh, putting the outline together for the project plan okay now um before the night's out, I'm going to record a tutorial that's going to get you started on how to put together a, a, an outline for a project plan, uh, kind of a, a starter for you, okay? There are instructions, so if we click through on the instructions, we're going to see that um, we're going to be using the practice case scenario okay that we're going to be creating a detailed outline okay um as for the technique well the outline should follow the outline that is required for the project plan oh well to really understand um what we have to outline you have to be able to read the instructions for the project plan itself and we have those so we'll go look at those in a minute or two Okay, and then I mentioned what kind of tools you can use. And there are really two kinds of tools that uh, people use for the creating these outlines, which I think are, are great uh, tools for this uh, oh, writing paper, uh, writing papers for um, your work at the university. Uh, okay, so either you're going to use just the outline feature of a word processor like Microsoft Word or some kind of a mind mapping tool. Now, I have been using a mind mapping tool called, uh, um, what is it called? <laughs> uh, uh, here it is. It's called Inspiration 9. Okay. And this is a diagrammer um, that uh, is pretty commonly available. There are all kinds of diagrammers like this to create mind maps. This is a great way to organize your thoughts if you're going to write a paper or some kind of a document like the project plan that we're practicing to write. Um, the uh, the inspiration software happens to be installed on the SOAS uh, computers uh, so that's a place where you could use it and as I'm going to be showing you the uh, the difference between an outline a traditional hierarchical outline and these uh, mind maps is just really one of uh, presentation style okay so that's the goal I also have some information here about uh, how long it should be, the format that it should be in, PDF. All of the things that we're going to be handing in are going to be in PDF uh, format. Okay? Naming conventions for the document that you hand in, and when it's due by, which isn't really says here, it says look in the weekly schedule. All right, so those are the instructions. All right, now let's uh, 
let's just take a look. So to really um, know how to do that, you know, you have to create an outline, but you also have to understand the instructions for the project plan. Well, that's one of the required readings for this week as well. So let's take a look at that. Okay. So this um, first part of um, the instructions for the project plan explain that your work on your project will have three deliverable documents. Deliverable one, your project plan. Deliverable two, your systems analysis report. Deliverable three, um, um, the proposed implementation. Okay, now when are those going to happen? Well, the project plan is going to be due in a couple weeks. So we're going to practice this outline. Then you're going to get a couple of weeks to put together your project plan and hand it in. Okay. Um, the systems analysis report. How long is that um, uh, going to take? Well, uh, you're going to be working on that for most of the semester. So you're probably going to hand that in around week 15, week 14, something like that. I think 14. All right. And then the proposed solution, that's going to be a smaller deliverable. That's going to be at the end of the semester. That'll be on the last day of the course. Okay. So this is the first of three. When you read the directions for all three of them, I've only handed out the first one this week because I don't want to be uh, confusing. Okay. The other two will be coming out uh, shortly. Um, the instructions on the top of these things are pretty much all the same. Okay. Because there are three parts and they all work the same way. Now, you're going to get to be able to work with your group. So you've been assigned a group. There are four, or in one case, five of you in the group. And you're all going to be working on your own uh, project. And here's where the cases get come in. You're all going to be working on a different case. Not the practice case. No, there are other cases, and you've all been assigned one. Well, how do you figure that out? Well, there is a list of the students in the class and the groups that they're in and the cases that they've been assigned. So let's look at the first of these. This uh, one's organized by your names. Okay, so you just look up your name. You say, oh, uh, you see that... Uh, Scott is in group five, and Scott's going to be doing Burt's Brewery case. Okay? The other way that these are organized is um, I have one by group number. It's the same information, just sorted in a slightly different way. So, again, if you go down to group five, you can find Scott. He's the first person in uh, group five, and he's going to be doing the Burt's Brewery case. So what are the four real cases, the ones that are not the practice uh, cases? Burt's Brewery, Cheddarville Book Sale, Darla Dunn's Dairy, Left Thumb Cabins. So you're all, everybody in the class has been assigned one of these. Okay? There is a fifth case, and it's only being used in one of the groups where we have a fifth person. So, um, as I said at, at the beginning of the course, um, within your group, okay, no two people are going to have the same case. Okay? You're all going to have your own individual cases. This should allow you to work with your group. Let's go back to those instructions for the project plan again. You're going to be able to work with your group. Um, and confer with each other and look over each other's work and uh, make critical assessments and recommend improvements and uh, 
generally act as professional colleagues because you're not going to be solving the same uh, problem. Okay. So as we go through the course, uh, we're going to have a series of skills practice assignments where we all practice on the same thing, iSchool Web Store. And we hand them in, we hand in the practices, we review the results. In this case, I'm going to re review them during online office hours and we record those. So if you missed that, you can always listen to the recording. Um, I make the results available for you to see. Um, so I post them once we review them. Um, and what's going to happen is that we're all going to be practicing on the same case. Then we're going to work uh, against our three big deliverables, the project plan, the systems analysis report, and the proposed solution. You're going to work on those and in those I want you to confer with your groups. Uh, okay, so we're going to work a couple of weeks up front here and you'll hand in your project plan. And then we'll, we'll probably work for another 10 weeks, nine weeks, uh, something like that. And um, you'll be working on your systems analysis report. What goes into a system systems analysis report? All those things we'll be practicing along the way. And then when we come to the end, we have a couple things that we practice on and you'd be pleased to know that they're the same things that we do uh, for the proposed uh, solution. Okay, so that's the layout and how things uh, work. So let's look at what has to be in the project plan, okay? Well, here's what we're looking for in our project plan. Now, a real project plan for a real a project would have lots of different parts, okay? Now, this is project planning from a systems analyst point of view. What I'm trying to do is, is I'm trying to get the ideas out of you that are the systems analyst intensive questions of project planning. One, who are the stakeholders, okay? So we want to identify the stakeholders. Uh, we want to classify them into three groups. We want to explain our rationale for including a uh, stakeholder group in one classification or the other. We want to understand the problem or opportunity. So we want to describe the problem or opportunity we want to describe the benefits to the organization that would be expected from this kind of solution. Um, and we also want to, um, we're also trying to identify any problems or opportunities that we believe are just outside of the scope of this effort. Uh, okay because scope's a big uh, question here. And then the last thing that we have, our plan for managing the uh, scope. Um, uh, what we would like you to do is to identify some parts of the problem or opportunity, some of what eventually will become the requirements, that you think are likely places where we could narrow down the scope of our effort should we run uh, short of time or money. Okay, now I just want to remind you what we're going to be doing for our practice case is just coming up with an outline. Okay, well we have the outline right here. Okay, we have one, two, three, and then we've got things under one, two, and three. We can use that to build the outline. And that's what we're going to do in the tutorial. Okay, let's take a look at the rest of the things having to do with uh, projects. 
there is a case description for each one of the cases. Um, most people have one of the first four. One person has uh, the fifth. Okay. And if you click through on these, you'll see that they are organized in a way very similar to um, iSchool web store. So be very careful that you figure out which of these cases is yours. You don't want to get to the um, to the point where you've handed in something and found out that you're working on the wrong case. Again, how do you figure that out? Well, let's just go back. Again, there is a list, right, of the assignments. So look up your name, right? If you're Scott Brun, you're in group five, you've got Burt's Brewery. Don't drop the ball and work on the wrong case. And you might say, oh, I'd never do that. Well, I have some sad uh, people who wander in um, uh, almost every semester who, oh my, I've accidentally done the wrong case. Well, no excuse for that. We have it here in two different presentations. Uh, okay, so you need to read a school a web store and you need to know your case for the work that we're doing for this week you really only have to know and understand iSchool web store it's only when you hand in your actual project plan that it will be for your particular case that's not for a couple of more weeks okay um what else might we want to consider? I think that's it. Uh, okay, so uh, again, uh, find out what group you're in and find out what case you have. All right. Read the instructions for the project plan because you're going to need them to create the outline for the project plan. And read the, the scenario uh, for iSchool web store okay then um, play the tutorial video and then do skills practice project plan outline by the end of the week okay that's your mission so um, I know it might seem like there's a lot here. I've tried to scale it back. I didn't introduce all the different parts of the project all in the same week. I'm going to introduce them kind of in pieces so that we don't get kind of overwhelmed by the pieces of this. I want you to be able to concentrate on your case and this initial project planning stuff for now. Okay, that's it. I'm going to say bye until next time. Bye-bye.